for the Lord on our side. You know where we would be at? Ain't no if and buts about it. This world's not our home. We're just strangers passing through. We got to get right with God, and we got to do it now. Running for our life as never before. Running like something chasing us. Hallelujah. Prayer. God, thank you for giving us the strength and enduring hard seasons. Anything through his weight, any thoughts is not wasted. Right now, part of the world are preparing to reopen. We like to know what that transformation will look like. But God, but you, God, do in the name of Jesus, guide our heart. Encourage everyone feeling afraid or helpless. Continue to heal those that are sick and protect those who are not. Protect and strengthen the brave people serving others on the front line of, his, of this panic. We ain't got no reason to panic. God is still in charge of our life. God has the last say so of what we're going to do or how we're going to do it. God knows the count of the hairs on our head. Imagine that. Can you imagine counting the hairs on your head? You'll, you'll miss some and you'll lose some. But God is the winning battle of everything and every situation. Amen? Amen? Jesus, give us our leaders wisdom as they navigate this season. Yeah. Let, your, let your hope, God, trust God, their actions. Amen? You know, a lot of people talk about they want to pray for you. You can't let everybody touch you. You know what I'm saying? You got an ear to hear and you got one to not to hear out of. But God give you a, a, a spirit of listening and of discernment. You know, it's hard to stumble when you're on your knees, but you don't have to be on your knees to pray. You can pray standing up right now, here, right now. He's a right now God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Calm our fears as we trust in you, Jesus. Yes. Jesus do what he can do. God alone are worthy of his honor, glory, and praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With you, God, we can overcome every storm, including the COVID-19. Yes. Including the COVID-19, which I call it the Donald Trump disease. Well. But thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Be careful for nothing. We coming from Philip. Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, and let quest, requests be made unto God. Amen. He already know everything, but if you confess with your mouth that he is your Lord and Savior, which side are you on? Who do you serve? Matthew 6.6, 6. but thou, when thou pray into his closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which seeth, and a secret shall reward thee openly. God got a blessing with your name on it. He don't want us to fear and for nothing. He give you the desire of your heart. If you come with a sincere heart. Everybody talk about it, but ain't about it. Practice what you preach. Amen. John 5, 16. Confess false, confess false one to another in prayer. One for another that if, if a fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Amen? Luke one ten. And the whole multitude of people were praying without at the time of incense. Amen? 
It's like I said, God hears your prayer. You don't have, like I'm talking to everybody out there, they think it's hard to get off crack cocaine. They think it's hard to stop drinking. They think it's hard to stop ripping and running the street. Look at me. I'm 20 years clean off crack cocaine. Never had a crack dream. Thank you, Jesus. Never look back, never turn back. And guess what? I don't want to. I'm looking forward to a future. To have a future with positive people in my life, doing positive things, going positive places, talking positive talk, crossing them T's, dotting them I's. Because people say, here today, gone tomorrow. You could be here today and gone to today. God gets what he want. He gets what he want. Young, old, whatever. Animals, trees, plants. He going to get what he want. If he made you and I, what about the rest of this world? Up in the uproar for nothing. They start talking, they start talking about this panic disease or this corona what, 19 stuff. Like they're talking about Jesus Christ coming, cracking the sky. God knows when he want to come. Our time is not his time, but his time is sufficient. Stop playing, playing church and be in church and be about God's work. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is at hand as we speak right now. Right now, right now. He's not to be played with. He's not one that, that uh, um, you're going to just sit up there and just keep telling him lies and think he's going to swallow it down. He forgives us for everything but blaspheming and, and talking about, you know, the Bible, what they try to, what other people try to correct that, that he already put in there. You can't change, you can't change God. You can't change it. That's not his will and that's not his way. Amen. Lift up your voice and which, and which how God changed you through prayer. Prayer. Somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time out to pray for me when I wouldn't pray for myself. I remember when I was out there on that mess, that substance, my, sitting at the playground, my sister and I, crying. She said, Lisa, you got to stop it. I said, I can't help myself. She said, but God, but God, you believe in God? Yes, I believe in God. But I thank God for his grace and mercy that brought me through. Because I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today going blind. My pocket's giving me five. People void me on the other side, crossover on the other side of the street so they wouldn't come, come the same direction I was coming in. And I knew these people. But God, my mother said, at least you want me to pray for you? I said, if you want to. Talking about me, if I say, do you want me to pray for you? Don't let my prayers go in vain because if you don't care, neither do I. But God cares. God is not like man. If he could change me and, and make a big change in my life, I stepped out on faith. I got tired of being broke, busted, and disgusted. Because when your money gone, your friends are gone. And you don't have nothing to offer but conversation. Listen to this. Everybody don't speak at one time. So you can meet a fool and a sucker anywhere. But friends are forever. And they feel in between. Friends pick each other. Your associates, the ball is in your court, stack it like you like it. But God say love everybody. But he ain't say nothing about their ways. If he said something about their ways, we'd be living a different world today. Because people treat the right people wrong and the wrong people right. And then the first thing that come out of their mouth is, if I got it, you got it. If I got it, and I, you know I got it, I say no. What do no mean? All right, now, watch out there. So don't take God. If you take God as a small God, he's going to be just what you take him for. I take my God as a big God. Seek, and I will find. I don't know what, what type of God you're serving. But I got a God that I'm serving that got a plan for my life and a purpose. 
That's why I'm here. I'm a living testimony. I'm here to help somebody. If they would listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I'm testifying, not testing line. I'm telling the truth about what God done for me. And what he can do for you. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. If you allow him to. Prayer. Prayer changes things. Because God is good, great, and merciful. He's the living God. There's none like him. No one else can touch your heart like he do. And he will give you the desire of your heart. Look at me. Four times I turned down marriage. I only love them for their money. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I've ever done. But God sent me a man of the cloth. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted a man of the cloth. This man, not that I know of, ever drank, never drug. And always, every time I see him, he's neat, clean, in church. And he's been after me since I was 12 years old, even though I know him since he was five. I got me a bow ass, y'all. I got me a bow ass. I thank God for him because he's a help in my life and not a hinder. You know, and he understands me when I can't understand myself. He prays for me when I don't pray for myself. I thank God for that because we both had hard times in our life. We both came a long ways, and we elevated. What God has for us is for us. It's not a me thing. Take that me and turn it into a W. I just thank God for what he's doing in my life. I thank God that I, I have a praying partner. I just thank God for my husband. Not no boyfriend. Not nobody I'm just shacking up with. Not nobody I'm just laying up beside. Be careful what you ask for, because God's going to give it to you when you least suspect it. Him and I were supposed to get married in July. Fourth of July is our anniversary. We got two anniversaries. We got married on Valentine's Day. I thank God for that because look what's going on. I ain't worried about how many people would have been at, at, at my wedding, but look what's going on. I had a beautiful wedding here at my church with my wonderful pastor that preached it and did the ceremony. He's a great man of God. He's a man of the cloth, and he's not married. But he's a good man of the cloth. And I love my pastor. I do. But I um, just want y'all to know, get right with God and do it now. Stop making lies, not false promises, lies. A lie is a lie. If, 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 I, if you do this for me, God, I'm going to stop doing that. Like me, when I was doing my thing, as they call it. Look, Lord, the thunder and the lightning. All the lights went out in the house. Look, Lord, if I, I just bought this eight ball, if you just let me finish this, I won't smoke no more. But God could have took me out right then and there. But somebody prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. And I thank God for that. Because I was a wretch undone. Talk about yourself. Stop pointing fingers at other people. Talking about this person, that person, and the other person. Pray for them. Pray for them. We all need prayer. Not sometime, but all the time. We need prayer. God listens to our prayers. Each and every one of us. There's so many people in the world, he can't he do. God can do anything but fail. He can do anything he want to do. His grace and mercy, like I said, brought me through. And somebody prayed for me. Whether I would deserve it or not, I'm here today standing on my two feet and in church, not ripping and running the streets. I'm in church where it was a time in my life you couldn't find me. You couldn't find me. I was MIA. I could walk around a, a telephone pole. That's, so, that's small. I heard a girl, like, like I said, told me in an NAAA meeting, talking about, I'm so small I could hula through a Cheerio. But let me tell you something. I was so small I could hang glide with a Dorito. And when they made that song, Skinny Legs and All, they were talking about me. Yeah. Stop pointing fingers and talk about yourself and talk about what God can do for you. Trust and believe Pray. him. Pray. 
pray it to ain't him. hard. Even if you wake up in the morning and say, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. That's a prayer. And he hears that. And he honors that. It's not how long you pray. As long as you go to God with a sincere heart. Because a, a whole lot of words, he might lose something somewhere. Because a listening ear ain't nothing but a running mouth. So you got to stop telling people what you're going to do and just do it. Because God's grace and mercy and his goodness. You can't beat it with a baseball bat. My arm's too short to boss with God. I'll never win. That's right. I won't win. You won't win. It's a guaranteed fight to be lost. But if you just trust God and believe in God, the author and finish of your faith, my faith, our faith, he'll bless you. He already bless you when he wakes you up in the morning. He already bless you when you can just open your mouth and talk. Like in one of my, my sermons, I preached about people make excuses about not going to church. Why? Because I ain't got nothing to wear. But some people ain't got feet. But they driving cars. Some people ain't got arms. But they, they clapping. And they praising God better than some of us. Than some of us. Stop playing church and be about God's business. Do what God wants you to do. You know, he ain't got no particular person who he use. If you can talk through a jackass, what about you? How they say? Based on a true story. God is good. And, is, and he's worthy to be praised. You know, and be around people that's going to mean you some good. Stop dragging your butt down in the ground with them. When you look up, these lights ain't got to be on. The stars ain't got to be out there. The moon don't even have to be shining. But we know that heaven's above us. But we look down. What's below us? I'm not going to hell. Bound. For what? Been there, done it. The devil should have killed me when he had me. I'm running for my life as never before. You got to get perfected to grow to perfection. So you got to do what God allow you to do. Be around somebody, like I said, be around people that's mean you some good. Not nobody just want what they can get out of you because they know you got it. And then they want to skin and grin in your face. Like Mr. Ed. They, they want to grin and, skin, grin and skin in your face because they know that you got something they want. They want. Like I said, you can meet a fool and a sucker anywhere when you don't want to be bothered with yourself. But friends are forever and they few in between. Pick your people wisely. I'm not saying all people that go to church is your, your friend. I'm not going to say that. Because they backbite us. They're not even backstabbers no more. They backbite you. But when you find somebody that's sincere and for real about God's business, them people you need to stick with. Because they're hard to come by. These days and time, everybody wearing a mask because they're scared of this what? Trust in God. God got everything in control. Like I said, his time is not our time. His time is sufficient. Oh, this is going to be open and such and such. You don't know. You don't even know when the time, the hour, when God coming back to crack the sky to get us. And everybody ain't going. Everybody ain't going. Souls going to be lost. It's going to be a sad day. It's going to be happy for other people. You know, keep praying, keep trusting, and keep believing that God is the author and finish of your faith. When I say author and finish of your faith, put God first in everything you do and say. And if you do something wrong, come with him with a sincere heart and mean it. Say, God, forgive me. I'm sorry. He honors that. He honors that. A lot of people hurt your feelings, and they know they hurt your feelings, but they won't even come apologize to you. They look right over you, like you, like you a piece of glass. But if you look in the mirror, you got a reflection too. You got a reflection too. 
Hmm. So you can't treat people any kind of way and think you're going to get by with it. As they say, you got to reap what you sow. How you going to get any kind of fruit or vegetable out of the ground you keep planting rocks? You think you're going to sprout up something? You'd be, you be, you be good if you get some grass to grow around it. For real. So don't, don't play God at all. No kind of way. Because he's a good God. He's a grace God. Eyes haven't seen him. You know, nobody's seen him. But we know, we, see this, we can see what he does for us. He give us food, shelter, and clothing. There are people out there that are homeless. But they're still here. He makes a way for the water to come down, the birds to come down and get a drink of water. Even the bird has to come down and get a drink of water. He makes a way for all of us at his own time to do whatever he wants to do when he want to do it. God is good, I'm telling you. If you haven't tried them, try them for yourself. Those of you out there that are doing whatever you think you want to do or can do, try Jesus. Just try him. One time with a sincere heart, try him. He never failed me yet. I failed him. But he forgave me. Look at me today. Those who knew me back then, look at me now. I'm not an overcomer. I'm a graduate. And I'm proud of who I am. I am who I am because God say I am. Amen. Y'all know the word of prayer? Pray my strength in the Lord that I'd be sincere and for real to do what God want me to do. Pray for me. I need prayer too. I love you all in the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenai Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church. <laughs>